Shut up, you're a holiday. Bingo! Prize bingo! Bingo! No waiting for bingo! Just step inside and... Bloody cockle soup. Oh, hello. I wonder if you can help me. I'm trying to trace an old friend of mine who used to live in this house. Her name's Gloria Gates. Gates? Yes. Well, I was Gloria Gates. Gordon Bennett. I'm Arthur Dumpton. Arthur who? Dumpton. I'm coming back to Cocklesea. Cockle from Cockle C. C -c -c Cockles, Cockles from Cockle C. With a cockle down me throttle, I'm as cocky as can be. C -c -c cocky, C cocky as can be. Whoa, Cockles, Cockles, Cockles from Cockle C. There's not another cockle what'll satisfy your throttle like a cockle from Cockle. going on? You can see what's going on. So, it's happening then. I told you it would. I told you it wouldn't. Well, it is. So I see. <laughs> Gloria, this is my studio. You'll be just as happy in the caravan in the backyard. It's got a north light. It's got a north wind, too. Oh, don't be silly, Jack. We used to sleep out there when we were full. But that must be 20 years ago. It's had the coal in it ever since. It's been thoroughly cleaned out, hasn't it, Emma? It has. I know you don't want to be difficult, Jack, but Arthur Dumpton has to have this room. He liked it when he was down here last month. He's going to be a permanent guest now, and it's cut off, and he needs privacy. I need privacy. You'll get all the privacy you need in the backyard. Now take these downstairs. There's a dear. Oh, please take your fingers off that paint. For all you know, this may be a masterpiece. Sorry, dear. Well, I'll tell you this, Gloria. You won't get me to help him in that pavilion. I'm delighted he's taken it off my hands, but as far as I'm concerned, he can stew! Doesn't mean a word of that. <laughs> Arthur Dumpton was his best friend when he used to come here on holiday. When was that, Mrs. Dubois? Oh, when Arthur was a lad. He's a wonderful painter's mind. He's a wonderful artist. I expect that's because he's French. Well, he's not really French. His family was. But as I say to him, this is England, Jack. Arthur Dumpton was my friend too, you know. There was talk that he was very sweet on me. Just nonsense, of course. All our eyes on the distant horizon, look out We'll do the hailing on the ships to the sailing. We're riding along on the crystal way. And the world is... <sighs> Ozone.
Ladies and gentlemen, happy days are here again. Just a minute. Just a minute. Who are you? Who are you? I asked you first. My name is Arthur Dumpton. I'm yes. the new... Arthur Dumpton. I'm the new lessee of this establishment. May I ask what you're playing at? Playing it? Playing it. Oh, playing it. Bill Haley and the Comet. One of the world's greatest ever sounds. That is a cassette of a pirate recording done of his concert in Pasadena. I swapped it, but a very rare Buddy Holly, but on the whole... I'm I not think talking I'll... about that. What do you do with that wire and lamp? Wire and lamp? Wire and lamp. Oh, this wire and lamp. I'm just getting rid of the rubbish. That's not rubbish. Isn't it rubbish? It's a vital piece of equipment. Oh, I thought it was rubbish. Are you a dustman? Well, <clears throat> not exactly. What do you mean by that? I run the shellfish stall, but there's not much business. Not this time of year. Not any time of the year. So one helps out elsewhere where one can. Well, you're not helping out here. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was. If you want my candid opinion, you were stealing that. No, no. Strong words, not so at all. Just clearing up for your arrival. There's no prosecution involved in that. However, if I have made a mistake, I deposit with many apologies. I'm sorry I can't stay for longer chat. I've got a business appointment. Oh, <laughs> some say you're a wally, but I won't have that. I've always admired a bit of enterprise. Cheers. Oh, yeah. This used to be such an honest town. Long as you dare. What's that in her hand? That's a whip. What's she going to do with it? She's going to whip him. She's not. I'm afraid she is. Oh, that must hurt. This is what's known as sadomasochism. Yes, Em, in the train. Oh dear. She should stop. This is poverty stuff. He said he was. Now, we'll wind back, Graham. Let's have a look at another one. Here we are, then, Shark. Gloria wants her horoscope. Oh, anything interesting? A bit inauspicious this afternoon. Yeah, lucky I'm out of her way, then. Oh, uh, on second thoughts, you'd better send it round if she doesn't know I'm here. Right. What do you think, then, Shark? Well, it's got to be too good to miss. Happened this morning, did it? He went out early to try for some cod. This boat hailed him. It gave me coffee and snipes. Then they said they'd got this stuff. Gave him these samples. And these magazines. Did he want the franchise for this bit of the coast? Well, I knew he couldn't handle it by himself. He's no head for business. Or for appreciating the artistic side. Let's get in George and Shark, I said. Between them, they're bound to know what's what. Good thinking, Rosa. When do they pass here again? Tomorrow, on their way back. What's his answer then? Well, we've got to say yes. You think we can make 500%? How can we fail on what they're charging us? You stick an ad in one of those kinky mags, give the postman a rupture carrying the replies. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Graham. Let's have a deco. Mm. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Arthur, look! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited you brought these films. The cinematograph was my dad's hobby, of course. Sir. What a town it was then. It was, wasn't it? A bit different from now. Oh, there we are! Yes. There we are. Oh, I was pretty then. Well, come on. You still are. Oh, no. <laughs> There's Jacques. <laughs> oh. Always had to poke his nose in, did Jack? I expect you were surprised to find us married. Well, I, I suppose I was a bit. Over 20 years. 
Everybody thought it would be a wonderful merger. <laughs> he would inherit the pavilion and I would inherit Sunnyside's. Oh, there is the pavilion. Oh, it was something then. It was. That, of course, was in his father's time. I soon found out that Jack was no businessman. All he ever wanted to do was paint. The trouble is, nobody else wants him to. Not enough to pay any money, anyway. He always used to talk about being a vagabond. Living his life in exotic parts. Always talked a lot, has Jack. So I'll tell you exactly what we do. We make an initial investment for, say, ten films. We could raise that between us. £250 profit the first time round. We reinvest that... Once a month for a year. After six months, it's... £545,100. It can't be. Uh, well, no, uh, perhaps not. Not allowing for incidentals. Still. 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 It should just about cover all the dreams we've got. Oh, look. This mm. one's an animal story. She's very fond of that dog, isn't she? <laughs> oh, dear, that's not very nice. Yeah, that dog reminds me. I ran into this Arthur Dumpton this morning, Jack. Oh, God, I forgot to tell you he was arriving today. Yeah, too right you did. You told me to help myself to what I wanted before you arrived and that. So there I was, lifting this nice little lamp, just up Mum's potted plants. Daft idea, but it keeps her happy. When, as I say, he walks in and catches me at it. No bother. Oh, no, it seems a wally. He is. Who's this then, Jacques? Oh, some boring burg I hadn't seen for 30 years. Not only turned up a couple of months ago. They've got romantic notions of cockles in. Bit different from Barbara Woodhouse. He's taking mm. a lease on the pavilion. <laughs> oh, that's nice. You'll be getting some rent. I don't imagine I'd be allowed to see any of that. Still. Give Gloria someone to play with, I suppose. <laughs> May I ask you a personal question, Arthur? Of course. Your wife, she never came back then since you were here last month. No, no. Well, I knew she wouldn't. She went off with one of our very good friends. They knew they were suited then? Well, this is it, yeah. But you came back here, that's the important thing. Well, I sat in that empty house and I said to myself, Arthur, I said, you've got your redundancy money, take the plunge. All you can do is sink or swim. Jump in the icy water, I said. And you have. I have, yeah. Well, I jumped right in when I telephoned you. Yeah. I'll take a lease on the marine pavilion, I said. <laughs> Boy, was I nervous after that. Well... Let's face it, Gloria, Cockles has changed. It's a very sad and depressing mess. There's no denying that. And it's got to wake up and face the facts. The world owes nobody a living these days. We've got to pull our finger out. That's what Prince Philip said. And he's right. I mean, this town's not going to fill itself. I mean, that pavilion's not going to fill itself. I mean, people are, are only going to come in if we, if we go out and grab them by the scruff of the neck. If we say to them, look, this is Cockwassy. This is somewhere you want to be. <clears throat> oh, work. That's going to mean work. It's going to mean shaking a lot of people up. That's why I was so nervous, you know. The size of the task. But it's worth a go. It's got to be. I used to love this place. And what is life if we never take risks? Now, things are a bit rock bottom. They can only go up. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Don't you? I always have. And I still can't get over it. What? Seeing you again. How? Mind you, when, when you came down last month and I opened that door, it was like you'd never been away. Yeah, it's amazing how quick the years roll back, isn't it? Roll back to unfold memories. Yeah. I have... I have so many memories. Do you? 
about you and I, of course. <laughs> For instance, I remember something you said. Oh, really? I wonder if you remember it. <laughs> I don't know. Do I? <laughs> Shall I remind you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I be a devil? Mm. You said, Arthur Duncan, you said I was the first girl you had ever kissed. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know where and when? No. <clears throat> it was the promenade shelter, August the 2nd, 1948, at 9.30 p.m. Gordon Bennett, what a memory. I looked it up in my diary. I've still got them. You were so sweet. You still are. You still got that same shape now. <laughs> hello, hello. I think that's out now. Arthur had a bit of dirt in his eye. Oh, well, there's a lot of it about. Where have you been all afternoon? Oh, I... Don't I, bother I, to lie. Yes, Emma? Sliver or result? Well, who wants what? Uh, liver, please. Uh, yes, liver. Um, there's only one liver left. Oh, well, Jack will have the wristles. He likes those. I'll come and give you a hand. I've always loved wristles. <laughs> a warm and heartfelt welcome to our new permanent guest. You're in a good mood. Well, I have seen some wondrous visions this afternoon. Ah. I often wish I'd been born an artist. To each man his allotted part. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Shark, you were my pal. Do you think I'm making the most dreadful mistake? That's him! Oh, <laughs> that's him. Don't let him see me. He's bound to tell her. Let's go before I get seasick. What's he like, Jock? Bananas. Let's go. Now, the outside of this building was a wonderful sight, and I want it to look that way again. We shall restore its original livery with its colour scheme of beige and off-white. Now, I've prepared a plan for you here. All you all have to do is to follow this. <clears throat> now, where you paint it beige, I put a B and an O stroke W where to paint it off white. So it's B stroke O stroke W is beige and off white, and O stroke W stroke B is off white and beige. So it's beige over off white, or off white over beige. Or if it makes it simpler, beige under off white, or off white under beige. Interesting. Yeah. Franchise. We can have it. There's a snag. What? No orders less than a thousand pounds. Cash. What? Oh, of course. Well, when have we got to find it by then? Friday next week. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> I've decided to open 
on Friday next week. Next week? What would you like? Oh, um... It's ravioli or two in the hall. There's a piece of steak for Mr Dumpton. Can you be ready next week? Well, I've got to be. Oh, there'll be setbacks, of course. They were with the painters today. They put off-white paint where I clearly said beige, and beige where I quite clearly said off-white. In the end, I gave up, painted the old thing beige. Well, it's always tasteful, it's beige. Anyway, I'm definitely going to open on Friday week. I'm going to have a gala charity night. Invite the mayor, that sort of thing. That should ensure publicity. Have you fixed the bill? <laughs> I've got the star. That's why I decided I could go ahead. Who have you got? <laughs> oh, you'll never guess. I'm so excited about it. Go on, have a guess. Um, Frankie Vaughan. No. Des O'Connor. No. Oh, I give up. Come on. Wait for it. Come on. Chewy Caramel. Who? Well, you must remember Chewy Caramel. No. Of course you do. When I used to come on holiday here, the Marine Pavilion, the comedian, it was Chewy Caramel. Back teeth, red hair. You must remember him. Always just to say, I've lost me sausages. <laughs> then he'd come on and he'd sing a serious song. You know, Paddy Archie, something like that. Chewy Caramel, you must remember him. He must be dead. No, he's not. Not according to the stage. That's the uh, newspaper of the entertainment profession, you know. He's got an advert on the back page. I phoned his agent. He's free. He's coming down. I ought to bring him in, don't you think so? Hmm? Well. He's a local star, you see. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to surround him with other local stars. And that way... Where have you been all afternoon? I... Don't bother to lie. Go downstairs and tell Emma what you want. It's toad in the hole or ravioli. Sorry, Arthur. You were saying? I'll be ready. Well, I've got to be. Sink or swim. It's you. <laughs> I feared it was trouble. I didn't want her to catch me doing the search. Oh, already I can feel the warmth of the sun, the taste of wine, and the silken texture of tropical sands. Ha. Does all go according to plan? There's one snag, Jacques. Snag? I can't raise the money for your share of the stake. You said you could. Mum won't let me sell the granny bonds. What you gonna do, Jack? I've been feeling very guilty about you, Arthur. Oh, why should you feel that? Well, you've been here nearly a couple of weeks now, and how much have you and I seen of one another? Oh. It's ridiculous. We used to be such pals. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Good Lord, yes. <laughs> There's some memories there, what? <laughs> Two memories. Memories. Of course, I wanted to come down to the pavilion and help you out, but then I thought, no. No, 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 I mustn't. He'll think I'm trying to interfere. It was mine, now it's his. He must do just exactly as he likes. I appreciate that, Jean. Still, it's the big night tomorrow. And you're winning. That's the important thing. Well, sort of, I suppose. Good. Look, Arthur, there is something I would... Do you know what it's like? like? I mean, you start off with a vision of the ideal, and then it's... Downhill all the way, I know. Listen, Arthur. You I... see, Jacques, I hate compromise. Oh, so do I. Arthur? You've never compromised? No, 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 no. Listen, Arthur. Well, you but... haven't, have you? Well, have you? What? Compromised. Haven't I? No, of course not. No. Not about the things that matter to you. 
Well, what do you mean? Well, you said you'd paint, and you're painting. Well, <laughs> you are painting. Yes. They might not sell. They don't. But that doesn't matter, doesn't it? No. I mean, I understand that. She may not. She doesn't. You may have adapted to circumstances, but you know what I call compromised? <laughs> well, you couldn't shout, not you. Oh, I remember those, those talks we used to have. When I used to come on holiday here. I never tired of listening to you talk. For hours and hours you talk. Inspiring talk. Uh, what about? Uh, you remember? Remind me. Well, it's about visions and ideals and art and life. life. You talked about the meaning of life. We strolled on the beach or sit in the lobster pot cafe. Yeah, what's happened to that? Chinese tape away. Yeah. Uh, used to have fishing nets hanging from the walls. And the waitress wore fishnet stocking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> then we strolled down to the beach as the sun went down and... and you talk and talk of your ideals. I would. You would. It was wonderful. It was. No, 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 I haven't compromised. Well, you couldn't. Mind you, I, I have adapted, though. Well, you had to. Yes, but why? Jack! Yeah. Jack! <sighs> she always came between us. She did. I'd do anything for you, old pal. Lend us 250 quid. Mean old sod. Couldn't raise more than 100, he said, not at such short notice. Keeps his money on seven-day deposit. That pays an extra quarter percent. Quarter percent? Mm. We're talking about 500 percent. No! No, we've been a small man, Arthur has. I couldn't tell him what it was for, of course. So what are you going to do? Well... I'm only uh, 150 short. Surely, uh, couldn't one of you? Oh, come on, Jack. You've got your methods. Had we but world enough and time, this coyness, lady, were no crime. We would sit down and think which way to walk and pass our long love's day. Thou, by the Indian Ganges' side, shouldst... Hell! Hell! Yes? The door's not open. We want to come in. I'm afraid you can't come in in the afternoon. It's the rule of the house. I have to have my siesta time. Come back at five. Bloody town! Go on. Yes, where, where was I? The Ganges. Thou, by the Indian Ganges' side, shouldst rubies find. I, Mabel, Mabel, you can help me out, can't you? We'll have to see. Go on. I, by the tide of Humber, would complain I would love you ten years before the flood. Sands of the sea, bobbing up and down like this, sailing the ocean, bobbing up and down. You must know it. Never heard of it. It's always the finale of a Chewy Carnival show. It's probably before their time. Well, he's bound to want to do it. And I want him to do it. And I want everybody in it. So we just have to learn it. All right, Arthur, all right. Calm down now. Gloria, you stand in for Chewy Cannibal. Rhoda Rush is here. Emma? I've always called you Mabel Gutteridge. Oh, I was professionally known as Rhoda Rush. Oh, I suppose that was many years ago. Emma, you be Caesar, who's in charge of the Caroling Corpies. 
Now, uh, Sam, could you be Pedro? And Bill, could you be Pepita? Now, I put chalk marks down, you see? There's C for Chewy, R for Rhoda, C for Caesar, P for Pedro, and PP for Pepita. Now, children, children, now pay attention now. Where I put S-O-D, that's for you. That's the School of Dancing, all right? Right, now, on your marks, everybody. I'm going out front. Now, on the count of three. One and two and... Why two C's? I beg your pardon? Why two C's? Because there are two C's. It's quite straightforward, Gloria. There's a big C and a little C. You're the big C. Right. After three. One and two and sands of the sea Bobbing up and down like this Sailing the ocean Bobbing up and down like this Hold it, hold it, hold it Gordon Bennett You're supposed to be sailing the ocean Bob Right, after three. One and two and sands of the sea. Bobbing up and down like this. Sailing the ocean. Bobbing up and down like this. All right, all right, hold it, hold it. That's better, that's better. Got the shape of it. Now, as well as bobbing, I want you to revolve and wave. That's what Chewy Cannon always used to do. <laughs> now, watch me. Sands of the sea revolving wave, bobbing up and down like this. Sailing the revolving wave, bobbing up and down like this. They may do the ships, we land, and you may know the game. Synchronize your watches. 552. 547. 533. Blooming thing stopped. Say 5.39. Sands of the sea, bobbing up and down like this. It's not so very difficult, is it? It's not difficult at all. Then why aren't you doing it, then? I thought we were doing it rather better than you. Oh, for God's sake, Gloria, so bloody petty. Are you talking to me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that, I'm uh, sorry. Mr Duncan... Shut up! I'm sorry, Sam. I He's don't... a bit on edge. What is it? A chewy caramel's here. Where? There. Come on, come on stage, please, Mr. Caramel. Mr. Che a big hand for Mr. Chewy Caramel, everybody. <laughs> come on, please. Welcome back to Cockleby. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Chewy Caramel. No, you're not. I am. You can't be. I can. I know Chewy Caramel. You are not him. I'm Chewy Caramel Junior. Oh, where's Chewy Caramel Senior? I don't know. I expect he's dead. I never knew him, actually. You never knew him? No. I knew his son, though. He runs a pub in Romford. He sold me the name for 15 quid. But you do the same act. You know, the sausage gags, sing Pagliacci, finish with bobbing up and down like this. I played a xylophone. I think the corgis are here. Going fishing? Yes. Hope you have a good catch. Stage to see him just now. The bunny rabbit was being sick and a squirrel was whizzing in the sink. Still, they sold 58 tickets to their relatives. How many sold so far? 61. Of course, I've given a lot away, you know. It's getting the people here tonight that counts. Bums on seats, as they say. And money's not important. Anyway, it's for charity. Well, this is it. 
Nervous? <laughs> well, I am a bit, yes. Here's your speech. You left it at home. Oh, thank you. I'm glad Jack's doing the bar. Yes. You know, it's a very good omen when he volunteered. Right, lads. Lady Mayoress, ladies and gentlemen, I would just like to say a few words on this, on what I'm sure you'll agree, <coughs> is an historic occasion. The Marine Pavilion has many magical memories for me. Some of the happiest hours of my youth were spent inside these walls. Happy days. And I intend to prove that those happy days are here again. Now, some of you... It's the second time I say it. Got the money? Of course. Every man would say the world was his friend. There'd be happiness that no man could end. No, my I used friend, to like that when Harry Seacombe sang it. I ruled the world. Every head would be held up high There'd be sunshine in everyone's sky If the day ever dawned when I ruled the world Where's the law? What are you going to do with your share of the profits, Rosa? I thought you set it up and talking. I do fancy reading a better class of hand. Certainly. Oh. Oh. Right, we've got your goods. Head for the lights. Singing that. Here they come. What's that thing behind them? Oh, they've been 
chased. Oh, they're heading straight into the light. We've got to give them some cover. How? Oh. I don't know, mate. We'll go home. It's full, is it? But you can't. We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when. But I know we'll meet again some sunny day. All together. They're in. And won't you please say hello to the boy? Come on, be here. Scheiß Hund. Scheiß Hund. Wo sind sie? Well, they're not here, old son. Just a hand out. Lock on. Well, somebody's got to do it. What's going on? I think we've done it. I think we have. <laughs> oh, no. Not again. Together now, uh, I've looked. Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to a moment in the evening which is traditional in all marine pavilion shows. That's that's the moment when we give something to you. You know, a few groceries, a few novelties. Oh, all of which, by the way, have been contributed by Messrs Patel Stores in Harbour Road. And I'm sure we're very grateful to Albert and his charming boy. Now, if uh, one of these lovely young ladies will step forward and pick the lucky program number, which wins the first prize. Give him a shake. That's it. And the number is... 52.
52. 52. Anybody got 52? I have. Oh, oh mine. mine. Come on up, sir, please. Thank you. Well done. Good. <clears throat> now, if the lovely young lady will open her oven door, tell the lucky gentleman what he's won. The sexy knight's mitt floor line whip. Frank! Geht mit die Bücher. Der Mickey Maus. Immer her. Too badly. I mean, considering. We can only go up. <laughs> well done, men. Splendid, Captain Flack. Splendid, says the mayor. I can't think what Trumpton would do. We were done then. Thank you. I worship. think that's something like that. And you borrowed your and money, haven't you, Shark? Uh, it doesn't matter about Arthur, he can wait. But what about Mabel? How the hell do I pay her? Oh, come on. You got your methods. Yeah. <laughs> Had we but world enough and time, this coyness lady were no crime. <laughs> Last Saturday week I got fed up, I went to Cocklesea I took the lovely lady in me life We strolled along the sand, a daisy held me and I fancied I had found me trouble and strife She loved the ozone, she loved the silver sea But was she quite the right girl for me? I put her to the test, displayed the very best and while she gulped, I said, now honestly, do you like a cockle from Cocklesea? c c cockles cockles from Cocklesea. With a cockle down your frontal, you're as cocky as can be. c c cocky c cocky as can be. Wow, cockles, cockles. Another cockle, what will exercise your front or like a cockle from Cockle Sea? Give us a plate full. A cockle from Cockle Sea. Call 